Creative Lori here. Welcome everyone. Hi Meow Meow. Oh, that's really bright. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me put my computer, my laptop on mute. I really do need a new laptop one day. One day it's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Coming on late, I hope someone pops on, a few of you, because I do have some sterling, and some vermeil, and hey Raven, how are you? Is, I don't, I don't know about you guys, but the weather here has been really nice, like cooler, oh it's been so nice. Has it been cooler there too, Raven? You're good, you're okay? I'm loving the weather, I'm telling you. After the 100 and plus weather in the 60s, yeah, see, it's been uh, in the 80s and 70s here. Amazing, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> I love fall, I really do. I don't like, um, winter and I don't like summer. It's just too hot here, but I love spring. Spring is so fresh and not as hot. It gets hot here. Probably most of America would say, oh, that's like our summer. I mean, it is hot, but it's not as hot. Then, you know, summer comes along and it's darn hot. <laughs> and I, I am so over the hundred and 105, 106, ugh. I meant to come on earlier, and I also meant to and do some videos in the week, but I actually cut my hand, and it's healed up really nicely. So I'm pretty happy, but um, it looked so bad, and I had an ugly bandage on it, so I'm just, oh, Minnesota, yeah. We only get a few days in the hundreds count your lucky stars but i will say this like you get snow it's colder i don't think i could deal with that like when i go to lake tahoe it's like an hour and a half away i'm dying i'm not i'm not dying i shouldn't say that it's just i wouldn't want to live in it you know what i mean i wouldn't want to live in it there's such an inconvenience to the snow I think we take it for granted here. <laughs> it's pretty easy, other than the heat, you know. And we barely get any rain. Can be a hundred and the next in the fifties. Wow. Yeah. Hey Jonathan, how are you? No problem. Yeah, we were just talking about our crazy California weather. <laughs> How we've had, I don't know about you, but I think you get the same weather, Jonathan, like in the hundreds. Um, and we get it for quite a few days in a row, which is not pleasant at all. Sierra. So I'm really looking forward to fall. I've actually heated up coffee in the morning. Uh, I'm not really drinking cold coffee right now because it's been, for me, I feel like it's been chilly. No, Sierra. And um, so I'm pretty happy with, my hair looks like it's white right there. Why does it look white? It's not white. That's weird. It does look white. Oh, well. Huh. Sarah, do you mind? Anyway, thanks guys for coming on. Um, ow, ow, your nails, girl. So I've been, today was kind of a long day. I had my dad and his friend install a new faucet for me, and we had gumbo, po' boys, and uh, lemon, a bundt cake with some fresh raspberries and coconut cream over it. It was really good. And um, and then I was tired after that, and then I had to go feed the cats, and I had some other things to take care of, but I wanted to come on earlier. Anyway, 
I um, am going to show some silver and I can show some lots too. If you guys are interested, I've got some really inexpensive like uh, fashion jewelry lots or nice. There's at least one to two like name brand Hallmark piece in there. Um, or, you know, it's like nearly new or in excellent condition. I don't put anything in my lots that are like have any kind of tarnish or anything. And um, so I have a, a, a three of those and a craft lot. If you guys want to see it, you let me know. But I do have sterling and I do have um, some stones. And I wanted to ask you guys, did you all want to see any kind of like stones, you know, like gemstones um, that are already faceted in a cut? If, if not, then just say yay or nay. I might put out a community post and ask and see what people might think. And if they are not interested, then I will not bring them. <laughs> but let me get started. Uh, my cats are like acting up. Okay. Um, I've got some really pretty brooches and I do have some really pretty lots. Maybe I should bring some of the lots out and I have some vermeil and I have like vermeil necklaces. I have a preview for tomorrow too because I, I'm probably only going to stay on an hour and then I have to hit the sack because I do have to get up early. Okay. Let me, what would you guys like to see? Talk to me, tell me. Um, let me go grab the, while you guys are thinking or talking or typing, let me go grab the little lots really quick and then I'll be right back. And I'll probably definitely come on tomorrow. I'll try to come on earlier. I just didn't mean to come on so late today, but I will come on. A little later so hold on one moment you have a huge shopping for oh yuck I don't like doing grocery shopping it was never my thing but I'll do it you know yeah I just got a bunch of groceries today and that was really nice got it out of the way and so I'm good for a couple weeks and I don't have to go any of the stores. <laughs> Let me go grab the lots. I'll be right back. Let me grab it real quick. Okay. Sorry, I'm kind of prepared, but not prepared. Alrighty. I do have like a craft lot that's a craft lot, but not like a, what's the word, um, like damaged, you know? It's like actually craft. I'm going to show that first because I think it's pretty cool. It's got a bunch of vintage buttons in it and, you know, you can resell them. They're kind of pricey, I noticed. Then I have like some seed bead tassel in here. I have some button covers. Uh, there's a set of these tropical fish. There's one piece ones. There's bolo tie, um, you know, tips. And then the, the actual part of the bolo tie kind of thingy. Um, yeah, you can't see. Oh, and there's a south, um, so here's the bolo tie. It's like a sear head right here. <laughs> then there's these southwestern button covers too. They're a little boot and different things. There's a tropical fish right here. Uh, there's only one of the little gingerbread. But I thought, you know, with that gingerbread, it's so cute. I mean, I do crafts, and if like you had it and you put it next to like your little 
um, you didn't use it as a button cover and you put it like next to like a little gingerbread house. How cute would that be? That's cute. Um, so lots of different button covers and tassel. The tassels, all these are new. Here's the vintage buttons. Here's the tassel, CB tassel. Um, these are button covers in like um, green, emerald green, and there's these little old ones. Anyways, and then there's these old ones. So, oh, I love this. I love this. Um, Bolo ties. So that's the, I think they're stainless. And then these are the tips. And then there's like a star button cover. But I think, oh, okay. So there are two things. Sorry. There are these two button covers. One's a steer head and the star. Okay. Those are button covers. And then these are the bolo tie tips. And they're heavier. They're, I think they're stainless. I'm pretty sure they're not sterling because they would be interesting. Well, I'm I part of it is stainless, and then the little twist part on the end or or to tighten it is um what's it called um silver tone. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. So it's kind of like you know the button covers. Craft, if you craft and do, um, you know, actual crafts, which I do, but I do still have so much. And I'm going to start this one off. Hi, um, oh, they left. Okay, they retracted. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love, I want a dehydrator too, but mine broke. And I had my dad try to fix it, but it wasn't going to get fixed. Um, so I, you can dehydrate in your car, too, by the way. Like, park it in the sun, uh, you know, crack the windows. I would cover whatever you're dehydrating, and then it'll dehydrate probably in, like, a day or two. And um, so I'm going to be doing that with my lemons and some apples. At my dad's place and um because i looked and i kept the trays for my dehydrator so i'll be putting them on there and then covering them or you can cover it with like netting and that's what i'll probably be doing because i'll be putting them you know like a towel down and then the trays and um because the dehydrators are expensive my gosh hi listen to how are you <laughs> okay if anyone's interested in this one Button covers, um, tassel, vintage button covers, um, southwestern boots, tropical fish, other ones. There are a lot of new pieces in here. I'm going to start this one off at um, $7 if anyone's interested. But there's the southwestern ones, the little boot, boots. There are the bolo tie tips that are stainless. And then like little a rant or a steer head button cover and the star so if no interest we're going to move on but yeah I understand like I I was thinking of like should I ask for a dehydrator for Christmas no I think I could get away with it I live in California why not use the trays why not put them in the sun and then cover them so you know flies and critters can't get to it but being in the car, it gets hotter. So that was like a perfect, you just crack it slightly. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to try that and see if that works. I'll let you, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll show you the trays like a little later that I have. Um, okay. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to continue to see the lots? There's only a couple of you on here. A few of you on here, I should say. You tell me what you would like to see. Or I could just do this as a preview and then we can come back tomorrow a little earlier 
and um, you can maybe decide then. But this is, um, how did that tape get on there? All rose quartz. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna pull it back. It's pretty long. Look at that tassel, isn't that pretty? So it's rose quartz and big chunks of rose quartz and crystals and a beautiful tassel on here. So these are like the rose quartz. There's pieces of rose quartz. These are crystals, rose quartz, rose quartz, all rose quartz. But then these are glass crystals or like, um, actually, um, I think these are glass. Yeah, these are glass. I'm going to say not crystal, sorry. But beautiful tassel of rose quartz, natural, like more raw looking that are lighter. And then the pinker beads. Isn't that pretty? So there's that. And it's very long. Look at that. It's super long. <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful. So there's that. Then I'll be doing, if you guys want me to do it now, I can do it now, or we can wait till tomorrow. Um, I have some sterling earrings. So we'll be doing a choice of, so like these will be choice of. And these are the Irish, um, what is that called? Raven, I, you probably know. Um, it's where the two hands are holding the heart. And they also do like the wedding ring band that way too. So this is Vermeer. These are, these are new. They're sterling. And these are nice and thick. And then these are sterling. And then Claudia? Uh, Vermeer and they're diamond chipped so they're they have a nice like shimmer to them is that what they're called Claudia these so we'll do choice of those hi Paula how are you hey I've got more hang meals to say hello to you let's see I've got <laughs> Oh gosh. One, two, three, four. Oh, that one's healing. We'll say four. And I have two on one. So does that count for extra special? <laughs> two on one side and one on the other. <laughs> hey, Elizabeth, how are you? <laughs> hey, you are going on another channel to sell. Uh, I, I missed it though. I, I don't know. I don't remember who you said. And then I meant to go back and then I got distracted because I got a phone call from my dad. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hanging peeps. <laughs> okay. Do you guys want me to start just doing, um, actual, uh, choice of auction? I can do that now. So I've got those, so it'll be between those two. Then it'll be between these two. These are like little prayer boxes, but, um, oh, okay. I don't know, it didn't sound like that. Or maybe you said triple J and I didn't like catch that. And okay, that probably was it. Yeah, yeah. Shoot, I, I missed it, didn't I? I think she sent me a link, but I was helping my dad that I, we're back and forth with each other. Ugh, we've been doing a lot in the houses. Okay, so these are Vermeer and then silver, and they've got like um, little, like, they look like diamond chips, but they're not. They're just indentions in the metal. They're sterling. This is Vermeer. These are new. These are not new. These are vintage, but I just put them on the card. And they're like little prayer boxes. Aren't they cool? They have like little flowers on the back. So you could turn them around if you didn't like the onyx, but 
Aren't they cute? And then that's the front. Or you could switch it around. So I would do those two between those two. I saw my fish. I'm like, dang it, I want to buy that back. <laughs> I, you know, sometimes you have buyers or uh, sellers or more. So I'm like, oh, I love that fish. That clothes and a fish. <laughs> okay, then I have these two. Oh, what happened to the backs? Well, that's weird. Okay, well, um, these are like, I don't know, I guess they're like um, some kind of a flower or chrysanthemum maybe. So I was going to do it, do between that one, and I just dropped one. Actually, this should go separately because they're like diamond chip. Um, these are pretty. Okay, tell me what you guys want to see. I have one piece of sellers and more, so think of it often. Isn't that terrible? I know, and you're like, ah, why did I sell it? What was I thinking? <laughs> I know, I hate that. But you know what? If it goes to a good home, we can't own everything. And I have to remember that, you know. Okay, then I have these. These are vermeil also. It's actually ro oops, rose gold. I don't know if you could tell in the backs. Might be a little bit easier to see. It's like rose gold. But these are beautiful, like, little CZs. I have one piece of sellers and mars. Yeah. Oops. It was a perfect Petoskey pendant. Aw, uh, really? Okay. Let me start with, um, do you guys want me to start with the silver or with these Christmas brooches? So I'm just going to start with these. Um, I have two of these trees. They're all Austrian crystals. They're all new. Look how pretty. I think that's black. Yeah, it's black. And then the red. Isn't that stunning? And then they're stainless. Let me double check. Yep. It's a tree. So I'm going to start this one off at five, if anyone's interested. I like the black. It's different. It reminds me of the trees that they put the white lights on, you know? Gosh, I had a really great um, dinner t or lunch tonight. Today. Tonight. T today. Okay, no interest. Moving on. Okay, then I have, <clears throat> this is new also, also Austrian crystal, and it's a jumping reindeer. I'll start this one off at five. And it has a red in its um, antlers, red little Austrian crystals. No interest, we'll move on. <laughs> okay, I just have one more Christmas one tonight, and then I have different ones I'll show tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to come on a little earlier tomorrow. Gosh, today got kind of bunched up. This one's adorable. Look at it. It's Santa on a, a carousel of a reindeer. And I'm going to start this one off at eight. It's pretty big, too. It's new. Austrian crystals. Okay, no interest. We're going to move on. I was going to ask you guys, um, did I... 
miss sending something to somebody. I thought I sold this right here. You guys can tell me. I, I either sold it to Granny T or maybe Amber. I don't remember, but it was the fairy with the citrine sphere. No, none of you bought it, right? I mean, I have to go back and look at my, um, oops, it's backwards. My video or my live, excuse me. Yeah, I, I swear someone did. So if, if I didn't send you something, I apologize, but good Lord. I was like, I thought I sold that. And then it was here. So, uh, anyway, thanks guys for the thumbs up. That means a lot. <laughs> okay. So, um, let's see, do you want me to show the sterling? Let's go with the sterling. Oops. So I have a few pairs like I showed you guys. These are new. Oh, really? Okay, thank you, Paula, because that'll save me time. Okay, I don't think I sold it either, but I'll, I will go back and check. I think I'm gonna send an email to Amber and Granny T, Tammy. I just felt like I did and then I didn't send it, you know? Oh gosh. Sorry, I should have taken a roller, lint roller to here. So these are vintage. These are not. These are new. Um, I just put them on the card. So these are going to be choice of, these are the ones that look like a little prayer box, but they're not. But you could turn them around. Or if you wanted me to, I could at least do that. I know I could do that. But see how they're like little boxes? And I do like the back. They're like little flowers with mines. So they're Onyx. And then this is Vermeil 925. They're both at 925. And then this is, I don't know if you could see the gold around the edges. They're new. And so that's Vermeil. And I'm going to start these off at, we'll start them off at $9 if anyone's interested. And it'll be choice of. So choice of. And if no interest, that's okay too. I just put lotion on so everything I touch seems to <laughs> like leave a print. There we go. Now it's making me paranoid. I'm thinking it was Tammy maybe. I hope not. I hope I didn't. I hope I, I just didn't sell it and I thought I sold it. You know what I mean? Sometimes that happens. Okay. No interest. We're going to move on. Moving on. Um... I have these really pretty earrings. This one is um, sea glass that they made into like little, I'll just show you. And I think this is brass and the brass little like round beads and then sea glass and then the glass beads above it are have like an iridescent to them. Isn't that pretty? These are not new, but they look new, but they are really nice. I like the colors. I'm gonna start these off at $5. I put some new backs on them, I cleaned them. And they kind of have a little articulated movement there, which is nice. They're kind of just, kinda, I don't know, they remind me of like, <laughs> hey Susan, how are you? <laughs> Well, well, what do we have here? Bunch of trouble. Late night sneak sale. I, te I did text you. <laughs> I think I'm messenger. Maybe that's where I messed up. 
Okay, we got Susan at five. I don't see any other interest. We're gonna go once, twice, three times. Fair warning, sold. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Those are pretty. I like the little, well, I like that these are articulated, the sea glass and how they're shaped. And then I like the brass beads in between. <laughs> I didn't send Paula any special <laughs> notification. That's funny though. <laughs> oh, Paula. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna call them um, sea glass earrings, okay? Sea glass. Oh, did you get your package by the way? I hope so. I wanted to see what you thought of the little um, snow couple. <laughs> okay. Um, the next thing that I have, uh, well, I'll show these. These are um, sterling. One's vermeil. One is just sterling. And I. Susan, do you know what the name of that is? Where the little Irish heart and when the hands are holding it? Do you know that? Oh gosh, I know. I feel like I've just sat down. Celtic, yeah. But I mean, do you know what that's called? It's like it has a name to it. It's like a burning heart with a heart with the crown on it. What is that called? Man, I I should know this, but anyways, Claude Clada Clada uh Clada Okay, and I know um Raven was saying Claudia, but she said it was a uh she typed in the wrong spell check or you know whatever and so that makes sense because that's three people now who are saying a similar name okay so whatever that name is and then these are they're both new so these are like diamond chip um earrings in vermeil they're pretty though the perfect size really and the the actual part that goes through your ear really is a nice sturdy piece because sometimes you'll get those hoops that aren't really sturdy you know what i mean and that really is unfortunate but so it's going to be choice of i'll start these off at this is vermeil this is just sterling um we'll start them off at ten dollars and they are new and it's gonna be your choice of. We have Susan at 10, thank you. Oh, you know what, I gotta plug my laptop in. Hold on, <laughs> it's gonna die. Don't die. Don't you dare die on me. Okay. Is that good? Oh, no, I didn't. Hold on. Hold on guys, it's gonna die on me. The the laptop, not the stream. Okay. Don't die. Yeah, it doesn't wanna like charge. This poor little computer has been through so so much, let me tell you. I can't tell you. <laughs> the poor little thing. Let's see. Does that work? No. Oh, maybe I didn't plug this action. Oh, I didn't plug it in. No wonder. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, it worked. Thank goodness. Okay. <laughs> All right, $10 from Susan. Anyone else? We're going to go one. We're gonna go twice. That's a good deal because they're brand new and they are sterling. Vermeil, diamond chip, and then silver. Going twice. 
going three times. This is slightly bigger hoop than that one. Fair warning. And we are sold to Susan. Thank you, Susan. Okay, which pair? I like when people say this. Which pair or which one or ones would you like? <laughs> oh, we will take both. Okay, see, there you go. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. That makes it like a good Christmas gift. Stocking stuffer, too. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to put it right over here. Susan. And I put these over here too. Let's see. Burr new. Burr may. Diamond cut hoop. Hoop. And then new 925. Uh, Clada. I'll find out the name because I know I'm here. I should know because we are Irish. <laughs> I'd make a really bad Irish person because <laughs> I don't really like potatoes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Okay, next one is, and I, I guess I lost the backs to this. So weird. I must have. Anyways, these are pretty little, um, they're like, chrysanthemums or a flower but I gotta put the back backs on them well I'll put new backs on they won't be silver just so you know these are diamond cut also like little oops stars or chrysanthemums they're kind of 3d-ish a little bit so I'll say these, um, let's start these off at, <laughs> just doesn't want to stay on. I'll put backs on them in a second. Let's start these off at, we'll start these off at 10 also. And let me put some backs on them, but they won't have sterling backs, just to let you know. Oop. Let's see, where are those backs? I don't know what happened to the backs, but these are really pretty and they're a nice size. <laughs> good grab, okay. Yes, it's just around the corner. I love a good potato. See, I don't really like potatoes. I don't know why. I got some potatoes today and I'll, I'll make them but you know I'm not crazy about them I don't know why but I'm I'm coming around like I used to not like pasta at all but I'm learning to like it I'd prefer rice but um yeah thank you Susan anyone else hey Jen how are you <laughs> uh these are can you kind of see how they're concave? I hope you can see that. Oop. Let me just take one out so that way you can see it. But they're nice. They're like filigree. Look how pretty they are. And they're like filigree. Aren't they nice? They almost look like a nautical star. And you can't really see the filigree. Let me back it up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go once. We're gonna go twice. Hi, Mary. Gosh, what are you doing up this late? Wow, woman, it is late. <laughs> well, she's on the same time zone as you, Jen. Um, yeah, she's in uh, near New Orleans, and Jen, you're in, oh my gosh, I forgot, South Carolina? Look at I'm terrible. I, I can barely remember where I live. 
Going three times, North Carolina. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so terrible. I don't like potatoes. They're bland. <laughs> They're kind of just bland and weird. I like the diamond cuts. There's diamond cut on the outside of the flower and then filigree. We are sold. <laughs> Close. We're sold to Susan. Thanks, Susan. I'll put the backs on here. The rubber backs. I just, um, I must, I cleaned. And when you clean, sometimes you lose things. And I was, I told my dad, he's like, oh, we're coming over today to fix your faucet. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, Dad, I go, you know, the house is kind of a mess. And he goes, he doesn't care. I'm like, I care. I care. Thank you so much. I'm going to call it um, filigree chrysanthemums. Chrysanthemums. Okay, I think this is... I only have three pairs of the sterling new earrings left, or two that are new, and then one that's vintage. But um, so these are they're sterling, but they are rose gold, Verme. I don't know if you could see that the rose gold. They are marked right there, nine two five, nine two five, right at the bottom of the teardrop. They're very nice. Um, Shepherd's hooks, very nice, very nice and substantial. So you know that you're gonna get a good dangle out of them. Um, and they are, I, you know, I think these are crystals because I don't think that they're the CZs, but they're really nice. They're like a root beer brown and clear. So, and they're a nice size, very substantial. As you can see, uh, let's go, let's start these off at 15. If anyone's interested. And they are new. See how pretty and nice the shepherd's look? Like you can't just bend them willy nilly. No, they're nicely made. And then you've got the Austrian crystals here in the top part and then the teardrop and then there the second teardrop okay we've got paula at 15. anyone else we're gonna go once we're gonna go twice All right, we are fair warning. And we are sold to Paula. Thank you, Paula. Thank you very much. And let me write you down, Paula. Ooh, Mary, I made a really good gumbo today. Well, I made it a couple days ago and my dad and his friend ate it. It was really good. It was like a lot of, I put different stuff in it and I made pull boys out of it. You would have liked it. <laughs> It was shrimp, uh, fresh beets, celery, carrots, um, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, some split peas, some lentils, and then I sauteed it. Like once it cooked, I simmered it, I mean, and then I uh, made the roux out of um, coconut milk and then with the juice of it. And it was so good. And then I made the po' boys out of it. And then I put a little, you know, mayonnaise after I toasted the French baguette. And it was so good. <laughs> it was so, so good. I, I wanted to eat, like, more. But I thought, no, I better contain myself. <laughs> it was really, really nice, though. And then we had a little lemon... Uh, bunt cake and then we put I put some fresh um, raspberries with coconut milk I mashed them up and put it over the lemon bunt cake it was really nice really good and I let my dad take the rest of the lemon bunt cake and I know that's gonna be gone soon <laughs> he 
had such a sweet tooth. I know he was tired today and I was tired too. <sighs> Thank you so much, Paula. Okay, this is Vermeil also. Uh, I'll have to measure the necklace, but it's a nice box chain that's Vermeil and it's from Italy. And then um, I the pendant, um, I guess it must have come separately, but it is a topaz, sky blue topaz, and then um, Vermeil pendant. So I'm, I, it's like three stones or a prong set. You can see how they're like baby blue. And it's Vermeil, it's really pretty. It pretty much kind of look, I mean, it kind of looks rose gold, but it kind of doesn't. So we're just gonna say it's regular gold. So this is made in China, it says, and this is made in Italy. It's a nice box chain. And let me measure the length and then I'll show it again. Cause I hate it when people don't show something long enough and I'm like, wait, I was looking at it. It's like, no, I want to see it again. Sometimes you really need to look at something. Okay, so this is an 18 inch chain and let me get up close here. So it's three little sky blue topaz and it's like a little conch twist and it's a really nice box chain actually so i'm going to start this one off the everything it, it's like an excellent shape i don't even know if it ever was worn um i'm going to start this one off at 25 if anyone's interested but it's a beautiful 18 inch for me italian box chain then it's got the three sky blue topaz for me around it and it's a nice little pendant. Very dainty, very feminine. Even just for the chain, it's a good deal. Okay, we have Susan at 25. Okay, anyone else? And I, Susan, I'm going to have to ask you for some potato recipes because I do have some potatoes now and I really don't know what to do with them. I get so lost with potatoes. I don't know what to do with potatoes. Okay, I know how to make a baked potato. I maybe put some homemade chili over it with a little bit of cheese or maybe put like an egg over it. That's what I usually do. But other than that, what should I do with <laughs> What's Texas potatoes? Like fried or something? Like shredded and then fried? Is that what you mean? Or is that scalloped? That's cut probably. <laughs> you married a oh boy. I just saw that. That's funny. <laughs> uh, okay. We are going to go once. We're gonna go twice. We're gonna go three times. Fair warning. And we are sold. Thank you. Thank, sold to Susan. Thank you so much. Okay, I have to read what you just said. Hold on, let me write this down and then I'll read it. I read cheese and something else. Okay, Susan. 18 inch Vermeer chain, Italy. And then um, Vermeer uh, sky topaz pendant okay got it thank you so much now let me read it really quick um lots of cheese sour cream cream of chicken soup butter 
Wow. Topped with crunch cornflakes and more butter, and then you bake it. Family favorite. So what do you do? Like, do you shred? Hold on, let me think. Shred the cheese, put the sour cream. So, sh okay. Open the potato. Um, you know, get it all nice and soft in there. Put the shredded cheese in, the sour cream. What else goes in there? Cream of chicken soup. So I probably do cream of like mushroom for me. Um, and then butter and shredded butter. Okay. Then top it with crunch cornflakes and more butter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a, that one is, that sounds sinful. Wow. Holy moly. I bet that would be good. Oh, you shred the potatoes? Oh, you shred the potatoes. So they're raw. So you shred potatoes like in a casserole dish maybe. Shred potatoes, then do the cheese, sour cream, cream of whatever. Then um, put the cornflakes and then more cheese on top. Oh my goodness. You know what? That kind of sounds good. I might try that for Thanksgiving, actually, because I don't know what to do with potatoes. I really don't even know what to do with pasta, to be honest. I don't know what to do with either. That sounds yummy. Okay, so you do put it in a casserole dish, but the cornflakes part sounds a lot like a lie. If you make like mac and cheese, you can't go wrong. I don't, I don't know how to make mac and cheese actually. And I don't like the box stuff. That kind of creeps me out. I don't like that weird fake cheese. I don't know. It just tastes weird. I'll take the noodles and I'll make it into macaroni salad, but I have had homemade mac and cheese. It's really good. It's very heavy. So it kind of hurts my stomach. So I have to be kind of careful with it. Now I'm like, I'm salivating. <laughs> mm, that sounds really good. I wonder if I can do that with sweet potatoes, like make sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. Wouldn't that be good too? Okay, I'm gonna have to talk to you about the potato dish because I wanna make something different for Thanksgiving. Or my dad's like, oh yeah, that's, that was good. That was different, you know? Okay. I don't know why there's like little fuzz on this. I'm going to show this again. These are two sterling earrings. Um, these are new, the hearts, which have vermeil around the edges. And then vermeil posts and backs. And then these are vintage. They're sterling with onyx and they're like little prayer boxes. But actually I like the backs better and the hooks and everything are sterling. The backs are like little flowers. So I would probably turn them around or you want me to turn them around for you. I don't know if you could see it. I'm gonna start these off at nine. Because there's the same idea as a prayer box or a box, but it just doesn't open. Anyways, $9, your choice. These are new, the hearts, the Vermeil and Sterling hearts, which are upside down. And then these are vintage. And we have $9 with Susan, and what did she say? I am, but I'm sure fresh would work. I love the box stuff. Oh, I like, I like, I like instant potatoes. Those are one things I do like. I don't know why I like it. I only eat it maybe once a year, but they taste so good. I don't know why they taste so good. They're, they taste good. I even told my dad, I'm like, I got a bag today and I'm like, I, don't know why I like these potatoes, but I like them. They're just, I guess because they're processed and you know, sometimes processed food just tastes really good. Okay, we're going once. <laughs> going twice. Poor. 
poor girl style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are so terrible. <laughs> so mean. Yeah, I like them. I don't know why. Going three times. They're just so creamy and dreamy almost, you know, and I'll put a fried egg over it and I like it like that. Like the day after Thanksgiving, I'll take the leftover. Well, oh, my brother-in-law usually makes them, but if I make them, like if it's just my dad and I, I'll do the, um, sold, sorry, sold. And I'll put a egg over it as my leftovers with a little cranberry sauce. Oh, so good. So, so good. Thank you, Susan. Both, please. For a rude old me. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> Thank you. But, I mean, it, you know, like, how some people are like, okay, box macaroni. They like it. I don't like it. But I do like the box instant mashed potatoes. And... Furthermore, I like the um, box stuffing, the cornbread one. I don't know why. I just really like it. I mean, I never make it. I made it fresh like three times in my life, and it was like a big ordeal, and I put fresh oysters in it. Or no, no, smoked oysters, apples, cranberry, I mean, everything, nuts and berries. And everyone liked it, but I mean, in a pinch, I like the the box. I already bought it. I already have it. <laughs> I like the cornbread one. It's so good. <laughs> That's like, I don't, those are my two like sinful little processed food. I don't know. 925 Vermeil heart earrings. They were, how much were they? They were nine, right? Uh, let me double check. Yeah, nine. Okay, and then the other ones are vintage nine two five onyx boxes. I'll just say. Thank you so much. <laughs> Damn, we're hungry. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I make loaded baked potato salad. Wait a minute. What's that? I mean, I know what a loaded baked potato is, but what's a salad? That sounds interesting. Hey, Amber. How are you? Sorry, I'm just going through the comments right now. <laughs> My hubby hates Kraft mac and cheese. I guess his, the first wife could only make that. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I put cream cheese in my homemade mashed potatoes. I, I know I would like that for sure. Yeah, that sounds good. But what's the salad part? That sounds really interesting. I might like that. Um, you know that salad has the little mini marshmallows in it with the fruit cocktail fruit in it? <laughs> I like that too. I don't know why. It's so 70s, but I really like it. I like bunt cakes from the 70s. I like all that kind of fun stuff. I don't know why. It's just like fun food that I never eat in a year. And like for my birthday, I asked for Doritos because I really, I I thought I liked Doritos. I used to. I think they changed the formula because when I got Doritos for my birthday, I was like, they taste different. But nonetheless, I ate them all. I, you know, my dad got me like a, not a big bag, but like a smaller than a big bag. And I ate all of them. And then he got me pub mix, you know, in a big container. I'm going to show you that container, how big it was. And I ate it in three days. See, that's why I can't have that kind of stuff in my house because I will eat it. I like savory. I'll just pop them in my mouth with like a little dried fruit and tea or or coffee. Oh, I just love it. I mean, I, that whole thing was gone. I mean, I was so puffy from the sodium for like a week. I mean, you could, I could press on my skin, you would see the intention, <laughs> but it was so good. So, so good. It's like potato salad. 
half mayo and sour cream, then cheese, bacon, chives, stirred into cube. Oh my gosh. Now see, I would probably like that very much, except the bacon, I, I might keep some on the side without the bacon for me and then do the bacon for everyone else. That sounds good. I prefer mashed cauliflower. Oh yeah, I do like mashed cauliflower a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna start making my own cat food. I mean, not totally supplementing them because they're not outside, so they can't kill mice and things. So I was watching so many documentaries and Dr. Maddie was one of them. And they said, you know, organ meat and then with like a bunch of these other vegetables and um, fennel seed, flax seed, not fennel, flax seed, broccoli, uh, cauliflower. It was like a whole list. Like I was like really writing it down fast. And it just sounded, it made sense because my cats seem, they all have the same problem. At some point, their bladder has a blockage and it's from the food we're feeding them. It's kind of like us. You know, we have problems when we don't eat well, like fresh fruit and vegetables. And like all the foods I'm talking about is a treat. And I think we should treat them as a treat and then have all the good stuff all the time. And then come the holidays or birthday, you know, or anniversaries, we can indulge in like these fun things or Friday night, you know. And so organ meat was one of them. So I'm going to start buying like, chicken hearts or chicken gizzards, I'll, I'll alternate it because they're not that expensive and they're like in a little tub and they need to have raw food in their diet. They also said, you know, um, blueberries and cranberries and kelp, which I, I could give them kelp, but I don't have it in raw form. So I probably shouldn't give it to them. Um, I'm just going to start blending it and chopping it up and putting it on their kibble and see what happens because I can't keep taking my cats to the vet. I mean, I don't want to have to for their sake. I can't afford it. And I feel like they're just lacking. They're lacking the natural things that they should be getting in their life. You know what I mean? And so I told my dad, I go, how much are chicken gizzards and liz livers and and hearts because they're pretty inexpensive. You get like a tub of it. And I said, so if I bought like one a week for my kitties and just like put it on there every day a little bit, like minced it up and then minced it with the vegetables and the fruit. It's like 1% fruit to the 80% uh, like, no, 70%, you know, raw meat to like, um, 20%, 25%, 28% really of um, vegetable and then 1% fruit and like 1% of like uh, nuts. And I think it was um, flax seed and then he, sunflower seeds. Yeah. I'm going to try it because I already eat all those things. And, well, except for the meat. I don't eat that. But I think I can help them. They won't eat it just by itself because I can't afford to, but I'm going to supplement them for their gut. And um, he mentioned something for their gut, which works good on their probiotics. And I, I don't remember what, which part of it, it was, but um, I figured my puppy can, my dog can benefit from it too. And so I'm just going to make both, you know, for both of them, all of them, the same thing and I'll just supplement on top of their dog food and it'll be all raw. And I'm just gonna, I've gotten like from the Dollar Tree, <laughs> the frozen blueberries and then the cranberries. Okay, I don't, I can get frozen cranberries but I just haven't found them yet at a good price. But I know the season is coming up so I might buy like five packages and just keep them in the freezer and blueberry, same thing. The season is coming to an end, so I need to buy more. I don't know. Am I crazy? I just feel like they're suffering for eating kibble. It's not meant for them. They're meant to eat raw food, just like dogs. And they're meant to, like, you know, have this in their diet. They eat grass. They like grass. So why they say fruit, by the way, is because 
Oh, Omega-3, which was, uh, I don't remember what, what was the Omega-3. I can't remember what came from that, like some, some fish. Um, <clears throat> but they said that the organ meat, they love that. They go for that because, uh, and why, you know, you want to give them like 1% fruit is because the animals that they eat have that in their, their gut and their organs so <clears throat> that's why you want to put one percent fruit so i thought that yeah it makes total sense so i'm gonna try it i mean i'm not i'm gonna start it really slow and my vet has like discouraged me but you know what i feel like the grain free even the grain free is making them sick and i i can't afford one of my cats is on like a really expensive bag of medicated you know it's like 82 dollars now and it lasts him a long time, but he hates it. So I think, and it's for his urinary problems. I think I can solve it by, you know, doing this raw diet. I think you guys should watch the documentary. It's really good. It's Dr. Maddie's. It comes up in the YouTube videos. It's like 42 minutes long, but it's really worth watching. He sells it freeze-dried version of um from him himself and it's not that expensive you get like a 12 ounce bag uh for 28 dollars through his website and it's like 29 dollars somewhere else okay but he basically tells you everything and he goes i'm not afraid to tell anybody because if you know he just he says it's expensive to do it this way if you're going to get all the ingredients right but I agree, it is. But I want to try it first. And I mean, I can't feed them all of it all the time, but I will supplement them on top of their kibble. I bet I'll see a change in like one of them right now, egg roll. She, I think she's getting some urinary issues and it's because of the food. Every cat I've had to take in has been a urinary issue because of their food. And I'm, I feel so bad for him, you know, Simon, Picasso, Sarah and Eggroll, they're all the ones that had those issues. So I don't know. You guys can probably think I'm crazy, but I'm going to try it. I will let you guys know too, how it works out. And I, it's probably going to be expensive, <laughs> but I think, I think like the gizzards and all of that are cheap. And then I just will mince it up in my blender. I think it'll be okay. Okay, good. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I believe it's a minus. Manu is my first indoor cat. Oh, you got a new cat? Ah, Manu? Is that his name? Is that how you say it? Manu? So Dr. Maddie put out the, his little, it's like an ad actually. Well, it's like a documentary ad and Dr. Maddie, I have a, a couple of his books and he says, now, if you bought my book in the past, he said, I, I stick by what I said, but where I said cooked, cook the meat, you put it raw. So, um, yeah, so just watch it. Dr. Maddie, his last name is Goldstein. And I've bought his books before, like on training, healthcare. Um, he's been a vet for like four decades. So he says it helps revitalize, like it reverses like arthritis. Think about it. Like we eat junk food. It, it hurts our joints, you know, processed food. So if we take that away out of animals' foods, then it would help them with their arthritis also. So I told my dad, because his dog has arthritis, and um, I think she would benefit from it too. So I, I'm just going to try it. And I I don't like touching that kind of meat or anything. It grosses me out, but I'll do it for them. I used to have to like put mackerels in, blend them, <laughs> and give them a paste when they had to take a certain medicine because they hated the, the taste of it so much. So I've done that before. I don't like it, but I will do it. My dad's like, just wear gloves. I'm like, yeah, I know. 
I think it's worth it. So watch it, you guys. I mean, watch that documentary ad. It's on YouTube. But Dr. Maddie Goldstein's, it's like a 42-minute little documentary ad. And it makes complete sense because I've experienced it with my animals. I totally agree, you know. And I think this medicated food is also junky. And it's expensive, $82.00. And I only buy it because poor little Simon, he hates it so much. And I mix it with other grain-free food. Um, I buy it probably every three to four months. I mean, the bag lasts me a long time, but he hates it. He hates it. He's a good weight, but he hates it. I feel bad. But there is one thing I put on top of his food that he likes now, and I'll have to show you guys in a second, because it's good for cats or dogs, by the way, and especially if they're finicky or sick. And I want to show you guys that, because I got a bunch for Tuxie Girl before she passed away, and it really did help her. So let me I'll show you that in a second. And yes, I will sell more jewelry. <laughs> okay, before I go get that stuff, I'm going to show you guys this ring. It's from Bali. It's by Sajin. And um, it's a six and three quarters, and it's a druzy, and it's sterling silver. Well, it says it's sterling. Like, I read the ads. I looked on eBay. Everyone's selling a Mercari. It was Mercari, eBay, and Etsy, I think. Or maybe just Mercari and eBay. Said it's silver. When I tested it, I couldn't find that it was silver. But look how pretty that juicy is. It's the same exact design with the swirl on the side. Nice high bezel. I mean, it definitely looks silver. It's marked silver. It's from Sajin, S-A-J-E-N. And I'm going to show you the website. <laughs> it's the same ring. Um, this jewelry is expensive. It's an all sterling company so that's why I, I don't know if it's when I tested it my um you know like my chemical but okay so it's selling for $52.99 let me see if I can find a good picture here we go let me oh. okay let me show you <laughs> and then I'm gonna go get oh gosh this is gonna tip over hold on it. Oh, it's no wonder. Okay, hold on. Sajin. Same ring. Okay. I don't know if you can see the price. Where is the price? $52.99. Okay, it's got that swirl. And um, let's see if I can yeah, Sajin. So it's the same ring, but I I don't I don't know if it's my chemicals, but um so I'm gonna say it's not silver, but the the three websites that I looked at, Mercari, eBay, and just a general Google when I Googled it. Um, and it's from Bali. I'm going to start this one off six and three quarters. I'm going to start it off at $19. It's a nice ring. It's nice and thick. Okay, I'm, I'll be right back. So I'm going to get that cat food and get some more water. Okay, I'll be right back. And, ouch.
Okay, coming, 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 coming. Okay. <clears throat> it's by Karu Daily Dish. And um, <laughs> let me put it back on the, oops. Where's my thingy? There we go. Hi, Pat. <laughs> and um, they're called smoothies. And they can lick them. And they come in like little packages like this. And so I, when I cut them, because you can just, you know, they have like a little thingy where you can tear them. But they like to lick them, so I like to cut it like uh, at a dome so that they don't cut their tongue on this. They... Uh, I mean, if it wasn't for this, poor little taxi girl wouldn't have eaten anything. And it's just like a pate, real fine pate. And they seem to love it. The dog, the cats. So I got two flavors. I got the tuna and then I got the chicken. And yeah, they love them. So I give it to them. It's like it's supposed to be a treat or like if they're dehydrated or... Um, if they're sick, you know, and they're not eating these and they come, I think four to a package. They're not cheap, but they're, they're not too much. They're basically like a dollar per thingy, but it's worth it to me because she wasn't eating at the time. So I had bought a few of these and yeah, they're, they're, you can get them on Amazon or I'm sure PetSmart or no, Chewy.com. Okay. Anyone? Hi, Pat. Hi, Cindy. Cindy, I need you to email me or let me email you. Oh, you wait, you texted me on um, Messenger. That's right. I'll have to, um, I got to get your number again because I don't have anyone's number anymore. I lost everyone's number and I need to send you something. So um, I guess look out for my Messenger on Facebook. I saw you sent, you saw, you sent me something on TikTok. And so I'm going to send you a message tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming on. <laughs> yeah, it's only, um, what time is it here? It is 1150. So it's a little bit earlier here. All right. Any, no interest in the ring? Okay. We're going to move on. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Amber. So it's a high bezel. It's druzy, so it has a nice little swirl and dot on each side. And then it's druzy, which I love druzy. I think it's just so pretty. I'll show you. It's open underneath. And it says Sajin. Uh, where does it say Sajin on this side? Yeah, it says Sajin on that side. <clears throat> right there. It's probably hard to see right there. And it does say 925. But I'm just, you know, I don't want to say that it is 925 because when I tested it, I don't know if my chemical has gone rancid. Um... I don't know, but it on the website, it does say that it's silver. Oops. Thank you, Susan. We got 19 with Susan. Oh, yeah. You have, you've got classes. Prayers, uh, Cindy, for what? They are all silver. Okay. I wasn't sure. I think my, my chemical is bad. Okay. I don't think there's any other interest. Cindy, are you sick? Did you, you says you need prayers. There's something on my kidney. Oh no. Okay. I will definitely call you tomorrow for sure. What's a good time? Um, I'll go through messenger and I'll message, message you. And then tell me a good time and I'll, we'll talk. I'm sorry. I'll definitely be praying. I'm sorry, Cindy. 
Well, I have a really pretty cross I want to send you, actually, and it has a pretty um, topaz in it. You wanted it. <laughs> and, you know, I promised it to you, and I lost all contact with everybody, and I apologize, but I want to send it to you. Uh, we get 20 of Susan, 22 with Amber, 24 with Susan. Yeah, actually, um, Cindy is the one who made Pat's, if you watch Pat's um, recent video where she did like a autumn uh, tablescape on her table, they're the hot pink little pumpkins. She's the one who made those pumpkins, actually. And um, I have white ones, actually. And she's very creative, very creative. She really should have her own channel, but um, <laughs> she doesn't. But, I mean, she does so much for her church, and she'll do pop-ups for her church for Valentine's Day. And uh, she makes, like, just all these arrangements. It's just wonderful. She decorates people's homes for Christmas. So I'm so sorry. We'll talk tomorrow for sure. I want to hear all about it, but don't be afraid. You know, um, there's always a resolution and I will, I'm here to listen. So I'll call you tomorrow for sure. I promise. I'll have to message you first to get your number or I'll give you mine so you can call me either way. <laughs> I'm so glad you came on though. I'm so glad. And I will start my prayers tonight for sure. Uh, we have 26 of Amber. Yeah, they were really cute, weren't they? Okay, so Susan's out. Yeah, no problem, Pat. You should... Oh! Oh, crap. Oopsie. I forgot to send your package out, actually. <laughs> I almost said, like, oh, did you like... Oh, my gosh, I'm so... Uh, I'm not going to say. But you and Susan got something really similar in there. So, Susan, I don't know if you opened your package up yet, but you have something similar in yours to Pat's. All right, so we're going to call it once going twice going three times your warning and sold to amber thank you amber uh let's see amber what was it 26 i guess my liquid is bad i think that's what it is uh, let's see, Sajin, six, three quarters, nine, two, five, Druzy, ring. Thank you so much. Good to know, too. Thank you for telling me. Um, it's in the Lord's hands. He's got me. I know. And I don't want you to stress out, though. I, you know, um, we'll talk. You and I eat kind of, like, similar so there's some, you know, there's probably some herbs that we both can talk about and, you know, not take, not take without your doctor knowing about it. Cause you know, sometimes herbs can like, um, they can do opposite of what the medicine's trying to do. <laughs> so we don't want to do that, but you know what I mean? Like, um, just eating whole foods, of course, which you do. So we'll talk definitely tomorrow, and I'm so glad you came on here because we we have been needing to talk, and I'm so glad I want to get back in touch with you. Okay, but you got it. Good. Okay. I'm so glad, Susan. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Amber. I will wait patiently for Pat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I... Where did it go? It's actually, where did I put your box? It is all packed up. Oh, I got so distracted because my faucet and um, 
it was kind of a bad week. <laughs> my puppy wasn't feeling good. I got cut, but actually my hand healed really nicely. It went into my muscle, so it's kind of like swollen right here. You probably can't see it, but it healed really good. And I got cut here, here, and then this one here, this healed so good. It healed so fast, you guys. I couldn't believe it. But that one hurt the worst. Anyways, I'm sorry. And I was trying to get so much stuff done. That's why I didn't come on live. Because um, so much was, or not live, uh, do a video. Oh, poor Pat. I'm sorry. I will send it. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Yes, it is healed. It it's a, it hurts still like the like the muscle part hurts like around it, but it is like I can't believe once I took the bandages off, it like healed so fast, I feel like. It I couldn't believe it cuz it actually hurt worse with the bandage cuz it kept it moist, you know. That healed really fast. I mean, it was really deep. And then that one went really deep in and it's a little, you could see it's a little swollen from here to like here, but oh my gosh, it feels so much better. It hurts so bad that it hurt all of my fingers so bad. It hurts so bad. It, I'm not complaining. I did a stupid thing and that's how it happened. I'll never do that again. I know. Okay. Good night, Aunt Susan, if you fall asleep. Oh, gosh, I don't want to say because I'm so embarrassed. But I did something for the good of something, and then it turned on me by accident. <laughs> I'll have to email you because I'm just too embarrassed. <laughs> okay, I have this sterling ring, and it's coral, and it has... um really beautiful citrine teardrops on each side it's um has a vintage vibe to it i don't know if you can see the citrine isn't that pretty kind of looks like that uh sajin type jewelry they do a lot of the style balinese um style i guess so it's a size six it's sterling it has coral. I'm gonna start this one off. This is pretty, I think. Really pretty. I like the teardrops on the side. And that's a pretty coral. I'm gonna start it off at um, 27. And it's very thick. I almost wanna say it's either from Thailand. Oh, I think it is from Thailand. Let me see, hold on. Yeah, it's from Thailand. So, very pretty. Two little citrines on each side. Size six. Really pretty thick silver. I don't know if you could see how thick that is, but it's pretty thick. Are you going to bed, Cindy? Good night, Cindy. I will call you tomorrow. For sure, for sure. Okay, no interest. We will move on. Moving on. Um. Let's see here. I don't, yeah, I did show this. Yeah, I showed it. So this here, I don't remember what I was saying how much, you guys. Can you, someone remind me? Because I don't want to like have to go back on my own video, but it's all um, rose quartz and some glass, like the really pink ones are glass. A beautiful like pendant. It's very heavy, very substantial. Isn't that pretty? You can see the veining in the rose quartz. Look how beautiful that is. 
So it's kind of like, it's, it's symmetrical, but then they have like the oval and then they have the sphere and they have different shapes, which I kind of like on each side, but it, it is symmetrical and the tassel is just beautiful. It has a little bit of faceted glass. Um, I don't remember what I was saying for this. Thank you. It's very long. I'll measure it in a second, but it does have an extender on top of that of like two inches. I'll measure it in one sec. Um, I'm gonna measure it right now. Right now. It is the necklace part is uh fourteen so half so that would be thirty one inches and then the tassel itself is three and a half inches long. So 31 inches, and then you got an extra two inches for an extender if need if you need that. But it's really beautiful. So it has beautiful pink rose quartz, glass. See how the, it's symmetrical, but they use different shapes? <laughs> like right there. And then that's the tassel. Oh, I can't remember what I was saying, but um, I'm just gonna start this one off at, we'll just say $13 if anyone's interested. Hopefully you guys can see it. So, very substantial piece. And then it's got all that pretty rose quartz bead. Okay, no interest. We're gonna move on. Let me put this over here. Um, let me put it in this box because I don't want it to get scratched. Put it right here. Wait, right here. Okay. Okay, so I do have a little preview for tomorrow too, but let me finish what I'm showing here. Also, oh, and I have this um, rose cord stretchy bracelet. Um, we'll just do it as a buy it now for $5 if anyone's interested. It's new, has good stretch to it. And you can't see the pink because of my lighting, but it's really a pretty pale pink. And it looks white in my lighting, but it is pink. Let's see. I do that. It's hard to see. But it is pretty pink. Okay. No interest. Moving on. I'm going to put that in the box, too. Okay. Um, I have a set here of Navajo, is this Navajo? Turquoise, yeah. There's another name for it, and I can't remember the name right now, but it's new. It's in stainless steel, so it'll never tarnish. It's a size 5, and it has a big, beautiful cabochon of... The cup bubbly that is. That's the veining is gold, actually. There's another name and I can't think of it. Navajo sil or turquoise. So it's uh oh my gosh, I can't think of it. What is that name? Anyways, it's a set. It's sterling or uh, stainless steel. And the earrings, let me take my big ring off. The earrings are matching. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Boy, I hate when that happens. Uh, 
Mojave. Thank you. Yes, Mojave. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. And that's where it has the veining of the gold. So those are the earrings. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Thank you. So this set, um, size five, I think I said. Um, I'm going to start this one off at... Twenty-five for the pair or for the set, I should say, if anyone's interested. Gosh, I must be tired because I can't remember diddly tonight. It has been a long day. It's been a long week. It's been a tough week, too, at that. That's why I didn't come on at all and do any um, videos. I just was, oh, gosh, just so much going on. I was tired, too. Okay, no interest. We're going to move on. Moving on. Okay, actually, we'll put this with that. Uh, let's see. This is um, green topaz, and it's I think it's size eight. It's brand new. I kind of forgot we had it. It's a huge um, princess cut stone. Oh no, it's a size six. <clears throat> this one is um, platinum ionized over sterling. Look at that huge green topaz, isn't that beautiful? Now on the side, it has like a little diamond chip in the channels. I don't know if you could see it. Um, maybe you could see the side. Just one, I think it's one on each side and then there's impressions. Um, there's one. I think there's one impression on each side of it, so it kind of looks like there's a lot of them, but it's just one diamond chip on each side. But the princess cut, look at that. It's like a, <laughs> a diamond, you know, like when you see a diamond, like how they cut them at a point. Um, but this is a square prong set, and it's a green topaz, size 6. Platinum ionized over sterling. Really pretty setting too because even underneath it's beautiful. Crisscross. Mm, how pretty that. Look at that point. You can see. You can kind of see it with the back black background. Um, this is new. I'm gonna start this one off size six. Is it size six? Um at Yes, I six. Thank you. I'm going to start this one off at, uh, I've never showed this one. I'm going to start this one off at 35. And that's actually a really good deal too for a huge stone. I don't remember the carrots. I had it written down at some point. But I don't know what I did with it, but it's pretty big. So I would say as a guesstimate, probably, let's see, what can I use in comparison? Hmm. That's a hard one because different stones weigh different weights. Um... It's probably at least 10 to 15, because it's pretty big. Okay, thank you. All right, we're gonna move on if no one's interested. Isn't that pretty? Okay, moving on. All right, the next one that I have, Is 
is this one. This one is a purple opal with white topaz, size five. So this is a small size. Um, this one I did write down almost, uh, almost two carats. It's 1.85 carats. And it's sterling with white topaz on the sides. This one's very pretty. And it's purple opal. So opal is very valuable. Um, like, you know, sapphires, rubies, opals. So it's the tri-split band. And then it ties together with the white topaz here and there. And it's a cush cut um, cabochon. Cush cut means like, it's kind of like a pillow effect. Prong set opal, purple opal. Isn't that pretty? Really pretty. Size five. Um, I'm going to start this one off at I'm going to start it off at 35. And that's actually a really great deal because opals are expensive. This is a purple opal. You can see the color variation. And then you can see the white topaz right here. And it's a tri-split band. What did I say? Size five. Uh, let's see, I have never seen a purple opal. Yeah. Hi, Shay. Is that Cheyenne or Shay? I mean, I kind of recognize the picture. Cheyenne? <laughs> You're up late, woman. <laughs> yeah, purple opal. I mean, especially in this, like, because a lot of times you'll see an opal that's like flat. Um, and that's really typical because when you're cutting opal, a lot of times it'll break. So it's very unusual to have it like in a cush cut pillow cabochon like that. Really nice. Okay, no interest. We'll move on. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> I haven't, gosh, I haven't seen you forever. I haven't really been on either though. I haven't really been around, I should say that. You did? Did you get the purple? Yeah, this is pretty. It's really feminine, very feminine. Okay, we're gonna move on. Alrighty, um, let me put it back in here. I try to mark everything as best as I can. And if I don't put it back in the bag, I'll forget. Okay. Then, did I show this? Oh no, I didn't show this, okay. Alrighty, I have these pretty little earrings, so not every one of you likes earrings, but um, these are glass, and they're in a, like a peridot color, I guess, and a, a Royal Borealis. I'll do these for $3. Aren't they pretty? And they're glass. Good for Christmas. Remember, stocking stuffers, Christmas, even Easter. But, you know, Christmas is coming first. <laughs> Hi, Carol Ann. How are you? So good to see you. I haven't seen you either, but I have not been on in quite a while, as we all know. <laughs> Yeah, we're having a little party here. Oh, gosh, do I wish I had pizza right now? Wouldn't that be good? Oh, pizza sounds so good. But I had really a nice lunch. 
I had gumbo po' boys. And I mean, you can't ask for anything better than that. That was so good. So good. And then we had lemon bundt cake with raspberry, mm, fresh raspberries with coconut cream over it that I poured over it. It was really good. So good. Okay. Shall I show the brooches again real quick? I'll show them real quick. Okay. These are new. I have two of these. Um, it's black and red. They're summer Christmas, but this one doesn't have to be Christmas. It's um, a tree. And look how pretty that is. They're all Austrian crystals. I'm going to start this one off at $5. I do have two of them if anyone's interested. I love the black. I like that they did it in black. It looks very elegant. Okay, I have Carolan at five. Thank you, Carolan. Okay, I don't see anybody else. Let's see. I had a pizza yesterday for lunch. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> it sounds so good. <laughs> uh, do you still have the ring from the last show that I was pondering um, if it would fit me? Oh, which ring was that? Which ring was that? Remind me what stone and what it looked like. Let me know, cause I I'm cause that was a week ago, and a lot has happened in my brain in a week. <laughs> okay, I don't see anyone anyone else interested in the brooch. It's a nice size brooch too. All Austrian crystals. They are new. Going once, going twice, going three times. Fair warning. We are sold, Miss Carol Ann. Thank you, Carol. Thank you so much. Did you want both or just the one? Austrian Oops. crystal tree roach. Oh, it's the same one. I have two of the same on these. Let me know. Okay, thank you. Red with a black. I know it's very elegant, isn't it? Reminds me when they do the, you know, like in the, um, around the holidays when they do the trees with the lights on them, with the white lights. Even though it's black, it just reminds me of that. It's just so pretty. I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, so Carol Ann will take both. Thank you, Carol. Okay, let's see. Two... And so that'll be 10. Thank you so much. Okay, the next one is a reindeer. And it's also new, also Austrian crystal. And I'm going to start this one off at $6. And, oops. And it is beautiful. A little jumping reindeer. So his antlers have the green and then the red crystals in it. And then his whole body and legs, um, most of his legs, are the white crystal. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to start this one off at $6. Isn't that, I think it's beautiful. I love his antlers. But I love that the body is all that white crystal. And then that's the back. Isn't that pretty? Very nicely done. Okay, I have six with Carol. Hey, Manji woman, where you been? <laughs> I 
How are you? Oh, it's good to see you. We need to catch up too. How's how's uh, the the puppy? How's Angel? Going twice. Going three times. We are sold to Miss Carol. Thank you so much, Carol. Let's see, uh, reindeer. Yeah, and that one's six. Uh, let's see. Um, broken arrow, her name is Amber. And how can you tell Austrian crystals from regular glass or others? So Austrian crystals, so they are, they have a, they definitely have a certain shine and glimmer. Glass, like, let's see, where's glass? These are glass. It, it, it's really hard to tell. Unless you're told, it's probably really difficult to tell, but... Um, they just have a different sheen, shine to them. And actually when I, um, bought these, it said Austrian crystal. So the difference between, um, Swarovski and Austrian crystal. So Swarovski crystals are Austrian, but Swarovski gets the pick of the litter. So they get first pick of all the crystals they want first and a certain, you know, standard. And then whatever's left over, they cannot call it anything but Austrian crystals. And that's what you have here. So there's nothing less about Austrian crystals versus Swarovski, in my opinion. Um, they do a wonderful job with like their their figurines and everything they're just beautiful but it's austrian crystal it's just that they get the first pick and they have like copyrights for that so it's kind of an interesting fact actually um it is really hard to tell but i feel like glass versus the austrian crystal also the temperature when you feel it is a little different like the glass is um it's cold but like not as cold to the touch when it's an Austrian crystal. I guess it's just maybe just me, but that's how I feel. And it has like more shimmer shine to it. <laughs> Thank you so much. No idea you were going on live. Thank you. Yeah, I haven't been on live. Well, I went on live last weekend, and then I hadn't been on before that for like two and a half months. <laughs> okay, we have a little Santa Claus here. He's on a reindeer carousel. Isn't that cute? I used to collect carousel, and I had to stop because I have a lot of carousel items. Um, so he's also Austrian crystal and new. I'm going to start this one off at $9. And actually, do you ever talk to Frances in so long since we've seen her? I haven't seen her. No, I haven't seen her or talked to her in a long time. I have not seen her. I've been wondering too. I need to like reach out to her. I I know she reached out to a couple other people recently, but I don't know how she's doing. I know that she was in the hospital, you know, so um yeah. I need to find out what's going on and how she's feeling. He's got like, oh, his little boots have um, the red background and then the, the crystals too. I don't know if you can see that. All right, I don't see anyone else. I hope she's okay too. 
I know. Going once. Going twice. Going three times. Here, Winnie. <laughs> we are sold to Carolyn or Carol. Thank you, Carol. Thank you. That's a beautiful one. It's nice and big, too. That's a very big brooch. Thank you so much, Carol. Um, let's see. Rain. I'm going to call it Reindeer Santa Carousel. Oops. If I could spell carousel. Carousel. Brooch. Thank you so much. Okay. I had another one, and I don't remember what it was. I think one was a bell, and the other was a tree. And I couldn't find everything today. So I'm probably going to come on tomorrow and show what I couldn't find today. Because <laughs> I had kind of a lot going on today. I mean, it was great. I got my new faucet installed. And that was like a gift from my dad's friend. And he installed it too, which was so nice because I did need a new faucet. The one I had was only about seven years old, but it started leaking because it was one of those that you pull out to like rinse things with, which I really loved. But um, I love it. It's like a gooseneck um, faucet. And it's so pretty. It's brand new. I just love it. So... Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I got that installed today. But I was worried, like, when my dad said, we're coming over today. And I'm like, Dad, my house is a mess. Oh, my gosh, you know. Because <laughs> I pulled everything out for, like, jewelry. And then I pulled out some stuff from the garage because I'm going to have, like, I'm having a big sale on Craigslist. And, and I thought, oh, my God, I'm so embarrassed. But he completely understood, you know, at least, like, the kitchen was clean and, you know, it was clean and then I cooked for them and, but it was fun. We had a good time and, um, it was really nice, really, really nice. So I'm so thankful. Okay. I'm going to show a few more things and then I'll let you guys go. I know. Um, he, he gave it to me for free and it was, um, he got it for free from a friend who didn't need it. And then uh, he installed it, him and my dad. And, um, well, I have dishes over there now or else I'd show you. And I have a box over there. But I'll show you guys. I'm, I am love it. It's like a big gooseneck. And it has a sprayer, you know, that you can, like, rinse big pots. So I can have, like, my big pots in it. And then it comes with, like, a sprayer. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Because the other one was not as high, but it was high. And it had a sprayer, which I loved. But it was starting to leak at the gasket. Like when you pull it out and the gasket, like here's here's the gasket or here's the hose and here's the gasket. It was leaking around the gasket here. And I could have dealt with it, you know. Um, I just put like a thing under the sink and I don't have anything underneath the sink. It's there's it's all cleared out. But oh my gosh, it's so nice to like have this. It really is. I feel kind of guilty because I feel like my dad should have it because we I bought him a sink about 15 years ago. It's like a farm farmhouse sink with the apron in the front. And Ikea, I bought it at Ikea and they no longer sell it. And it's like one big sink. And that would be like the perfect like faucet, you know, um, for it. And um, I thought, oh, dad, you know, I'll, I'll get you one. <laughs> and so, but um, we need to install my dad's sink. I bought it for him, like I said, 15 years ago. And we never installed it. And then... He has a new dishwasher, too, we've never installed. So we're, we're going to try to get to those. That's what I'm saying. We've been doing so many things around the house. My house, his house. I've been decluttering, selling things. Like, I, I am loving the space that I have made for myself. Like, it's hardly not as much junk 
I shouldn't call it junk, but you know what I mean, like stuff. And so I've, I've turned my living room into like this, like, um, selling <laughs> place. And if it's something small, I just put it on my patio, my front porch, actually. And then I just tell them, leave the money under the door. <laughs> and, but for something that's worth a little bit more, then I'll put it out there or, or I'll have them come in and I'll wear a mask, you know, like I always have my mask ready to wear. <laughs> and, um, and I wear gloves too. And, uh, yeah, it works out. I mean, thankfully people are starting to get back into the normal life thing and, you know, we're all protected. You know, I've had someone, two people come and they say, oh, do you want me to wear a mask? And I say, yes, please, you know. And so it was nice that they asked. And it works out. I mean, but that's what I've been doing. I've been renovating my stairs, which has been taking me way too long. But um, it's getting there. It's getting there. And I pulled the carpet in my family room and the stairs. Where I had to repair the stairs. And then what else have I done? Um, fix, well, they fix the faucet. Oh, I built a barn door, um, for my family room to living room. It was all free. I had the wood already. It was great. It was, everything's been really great. I've just been really busy. And so, um, come here girl. And so I've just been busy and, but you know, doing things that I've had to do. Uh, what are you guys saying? Uh, oh, it was the mother of pearl bird ring. Mother of pearl bird ring. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, gosh. Did I do a video on it or did I do a live on it? Bird ring. I can't remember. See? My, my memory. Um, how was your dad? I know last you were so concerned. Yes, I was. I'll tell you in a second. I'm sure you did not judge your living. You're so, I really doubt your house was, oh no, it was so messy. Like I was really embarrassed. Like I've got like mixed decor here. <laughs> I've still got dishes right there because I didn't have time to even do dishes after they left, but Everything's clean. Like I did a lot of deep cleaning. The only thing I didn't deep clean was the stove and the microwave. The microwave really didn't need it, but it wouldn't hurt to do it. The stove kind of needs it like um like um under the grates. Like you can't see it, but I know it's there. And I needed to clean the oven actually itself because fall is here and I want to do some baking. And so, um, I cleaned the whole kitchen area. I mean, I deep clean, but I still have more to clean. Like I need to clean my lights and up here, like so I know there's probably a cobweb or two around here, but yeah, I'm sure he didn't care, but I still feel bad, you know? Uh, my spur has one, has been replaced twice. Nice to have a higher one, yeah. Goodness, need to get those installed. <laughs> it was in the last live. Okay. I can't remember it too, Amber. Um, can't remember if you said it was, oh, that one. Yes. I do remember that one now. Thank you for saying it. Yes, it was Zuni and it was like a sparrow. Uh, yeah, it was inlaid mother of pearl and onyx and coral and silver. Yes, I do remember now. Yeah, I still have that one. Yes, I do still have that one. Did you, were you wanting to get it? Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, I think I had it on, on um, a good sale. I never showed it before, but I was offering it a good sale. I think it was, so I'll, um, let me write it. So you want it? Let me write it down so I don't forget. Amber. I'll look it up too. I'll let you know for sure. Um, and I don't remember the size either. I'll have to go back and look and I'll find it too. Zuni. 
uh, MOP Sparrow inlaid ring. I don't remember the size and it was smaller. I'm just going to put a question mark because I don't remember. Thank you so much. I don't remember. I'll go back and look. Um, I probably won't do it tonight, honestly. <laughs> but I'll do it tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> and I'll let you know. I'll email you. Yeah, thank you. That one. Okay, because I do have another Mother of Pearl ring, but I don't think I ever showed it. It's um, very different. It's like hand-carved Mother of Pearl with a cabochon on top. And I didn't show that yet. So I still have that one too. See what I mean? Like I have all these pieces that I haven't shown. Um, <laughs> I just, you know, I keep finding things. I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about this. I forgot about that. So that's what's good about cleaning and organizing. Like I'm finding new things. So I'm pretty happy with it <laughs> that I'm doing this. But um, I do have one mess on my island, kitchen island. I just didn't know what to do with all the bits and pieces, so I just put them on there. <laughs> so I have to go through that tomorrow. And I have um, some mail to go through. But I can't tell you how good it feels to go through everything and get it done and out of the way. Because it's just so much stuff that we can accumulate, you know, and um, I dusted everything and deep cleaned everything and every nook and cranny. I cleaned the floor like so good. The only, I got some paint because I was painting some furniture to sell. I got some on my floor over here and I can't get it up, but it's just acrylic. So it'll come off with like hot water if I like really scrub it, you know, I've been doing so much. And the next step is on the stairs. I have three stairs to finish. We have to like cement or I have to like vacuum it, wipe it down, grind sand, put the cement down on the cracks, grind that after it dries. There's so many steps to it. That's why I'm like, oh my gosh, it's never going to get done, but it'll get done. <laughs> and I'm just painting them. I want to paint the risers white and then the treads, no wait, risers, yeah, and then tread is be gray, like the same color as my floors that I painted, my cement floors. It's been a lot, but it feels so good to get everything, get things done. My yard, I've been working in every single day, you know, watering, trimming. My garden is starting to die off finally. So I'm going to be trimming back all the vegetables. I really wish I had a greenhouse, but I bet I could still grow some things through the fall, but I don't know. Maybe not. I'm going to start earlier next year, too. I felt like I started early, but I feel like I want to start earlier <laughs> to like get yield more like tomatoes and cucumbers because I feel like all my plants did so good in spring and then once we got that hot hot weather of like 105 and 608 that's when things like were so touch and go and i had to like put shade cloth on them and water them heavily so i keep trying we'll see uh what are you guys saying wanting it but it was too small then Showed a second time and it got snatched up. Let's see, I just got back. I think the bird ring got sold when you dropped the price. It did? No, I don't think I sold it. Did I? Uh, let me look, let me look. I have a box in front of me. Oh, I don't think I sold it. I don't remember, to be honest. This past week has been a blur. Um, I will look and I will email you both. I will let you know. Oh, it was not purchased. Okay, it was not purchased. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for <laughs> thank you for telling me because yeah, because I do remember you saying like you were thinking you would think about it. 
um, at least not in the live show. No, and I didn't have any emails for it, and I didn't show it in a video. I remember now. So, um, yeah, I'll I'll sh I'll let you guys know. Um, tomorrow, Robin is bringing back the insomniacs. If you're interested, Lori. Oh my gosh, I can't stay up any late anymore. I'm, I mean, like right now, I could tell I'm like slurring my words because I'm tired. Like I can, I can't even keep my eyes open all the way. <laughs> I get up so early and I don't get very sleep, very good sleep. First of all, so like sometimes I'll go to bed late, like tonight, but I'll be up at like four, four thirty-five, and then I cannot fall back asleep. So something changed, something shifted in my body, I think, and I can't get up. I mean, I can't um, stay up very late. And I, I even go feed the cats earlier now. I see, just talking about it is making me <sighs> yawn. Well, that's good that she's doing that. I'm happy to see that she's doing that. I haven't talked to her. I actually, well, I haven't seen her. I haven't talked to her. I haven't, I haven't been on. I, I don't know what's going on with anything. I haven't watched anything. <laughs> so I didn't even know that she didn't do insomniacs anymore, to be honest. <laughs> um, but uh, I'll have to watch the, re the replay because I, I can't stay up so late. I did. I was on it one time. I was on it one time, and I stayed up the whole time. I'm like, oh, my God, I got to go. And it, it just made me feel sick the next day because I didn't get it. You know, when you go to bed past a certain point, I didn't go to bed until the morning. And, um, oh, my gosh, it was a nightmare because you feel sick, you know, from not sleeping. And I was like, wow, how do, how do people do this? You know, how do people work at night? I don't know how they do it. It's not meant, your, your body's not meant for it, but I will definitely watch the replay. It's only 1245. Oh, Manji, I'm so tired. I'm telling you, I get up so early. I'm like tired. I'm so tired. <sighs> Let's see, um, it's 11 Eastern or 10 Eastern. It's early for us. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I'll try to catch it. Yeah. Um, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night either, or the night before, or the night before that. Uh, I think that has a big part of it, too. But, um, yeah, I... I've, I've so changed my ways. The pandemic, I got worse. You know, I, I would say I got worse in my ways, like as far as like uh, not going to bed on time. And then when, when spring hit, though, in 2021, I just started getting up super early so I could water the garden and get everything done before like noon because it would be it would get so hot and it would burn the leaves and you know scorch everything and I had to cover some of them with like shade screen and it was a big process you know and then I had to feed all my animals and there's a kitty outside who thinks he belongs to me which I guess he is now mine the the cat that got the his tail cut off I think someone put like a firecracker to it um, and so he thinks he's mine now. He's been fixed. He has the shots and he loves me, but he scares me a little bit too. So when I go out there to feed him, if I don't wear jeans, which I'm not right now, and I'll, I'll go tuck him in, like I'm just wearing capris. <laughs> um, I have to, I, I literally use, I have a broom I put in front of my legs because he's bit my calf before like the front of it, the bony part. And I'm like, ah, you know, so I have to go out there with tennis shoes and jeans over my 
my um these are what are they called stretchy capris you know um leggings kind of like leggings but they're capris and so I mean I love him and he loves me but he's just afraid he's just he's just one of those cats you know he has had a rough life and I've seen him before I've seen him like three years ago so he's probably like four or five and I always wondered what happened to him but his tail got cut off and it's and I had anyways a long story I trapped him I got him to to the animal control I wasn't charged thank god he got fixed. He looked at his tail, cleaned it, gave him antibiotics, gave him shots. Thank God. And so he just fell in love. I mean, from day one, he just wouldn't go away. And so um, he looks like a raccoon now. He's real chubby. <laughs> and he has like a little nub of a tail. <laughs> so he's, he's so cute. But he, yeah, I have to be careful around him. Um, he... He really wants to be loved. It's just that he gets scared sometimes and he will bite. Like he gets afraid of your feet and he'll like turn his mouth and go <laughs> and bite. And he does it so fast. You're like, ah. And so I'm trying to teach him, you know, but anyways, it's a long story, but he so he's back there, and I haven't done a video on him in a long time, but he's in really good shape, and he's very lovey-dovey, and, um, but now, because he's back there, Paco the dog next door can't come over because he has attacked Paco the dog, so I have to tell the neighbor, I've told him, like, the cat is back here, you know, he knows the story, so I, I want to tell the kid he's a teenager in high school like when you either go to school if you want to drop him off you know if I'm free for the day drop him off or you know at the front door or when you come home from school if you want to bring him over that's okay too so let's see poor Paco he wants to come over so bad but he's so scared because he did get attacked by him so let me read you guys the stuff. Uh, let's see. I never get much sleep, but a few days ago I got so tired and couldn't keep my eyes open and was thinking what's going on and went to sleep by 1 a.m. And I was telling my hubby, but no idea why it happened. So what time did you get up that day? You went to bed at 1 a.m.? So like how long did you sleep? I'm just curious. So you don't know then she had an brain aneurysm she wait carol you're talking about um robin had a brain aneurysm she did right and she lost vision for some time in her left eye it took time but her sight came back she's still getting try or tired easily she had uh, she had something. I haven't slept like since I had a baby, I think. Oh, I'm so glad, Manji, you slept good. That's so good. Black and white stream meal. One eye damaged. It wasn't quite right in the head. He would randomly attack, but he would also be loving. It was strange. His name was Bosco. You know... Um, I think what it is, is that sometimes the cats, when they attack, because I, I, even my own cat, Simon, will do that. They smell other cats, and if they're like a very territorial cat, if they smell another cat on your arm or like your legs, that's, I think, part of it. And, um, but he has fear of people, that cat outside. Yeah. But yeah, I know what you're, I know what you mean. Like, they... They seem like they're not right, but I think it's they smell another cat and they, they go, <laughs> they go, <laughs> and they latch on and you're like, ah! <laughs> um, she had COVID? Oh, Robin, she had COVID? Oh my goodness. That's how she had that all happen? You got up at like 9 a.m. Wow, that's really good, Manji. I'm so glad you got that sleep. I had no idea that she was sick. Had all, had all that going on. My sister had a brain aneurysm. 
and she had to have brain surgery. She almost died. She was in um, ICU for, oh my God, she, she was pregnant too, by the way, and she the baby did survive. That's my nephew. But she had to have brain surgery, and they had to shave the back of her head from like here on and um, relieve the pressure. So she had these tubes coming out of her forehead for like drainage. And then she looked like a little ant with like little antennas, but they had to relieve the pressure and it, and um, repair uh, the blood clot. And so, the, or the bursted blood uh, vessel, I guess. And, um, gosh, and then after that, after she was finally out and had the baby, she had to go back and have, um, uh, what's it called, uh, chemo on her brain to eradicate the vessel, blood vessel that bursted. And, wow, it was very intense. I was there with her. And um, it was very intensive, a lot of follow-up care. It was She was in the hospital for a long time. Yeah, so how long was she in the hospital for? Oh, did I freeze? I think I just froze. Oh, I'm glad. Wow, I had no idea. Wow. It is so scary. Uh, oh dear, COVID is scary for those who never took the jab. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you still loved him. I guess I'm I'm frozen, huh? I don't know if you can still hear me, you guys, but <laughs> I guess I'm frozen. Okay, maybe I should end it here. If let me type in here if you guys can can you still hear me? Um, anyway, oh, I'm not frozen. Okay. Oh, I guess it's on my end. Okay. Anyway, really intensive after, during and after care, like, wow, my sister almost died and she was pregnant and had to have major brain surgery to relieve the pressure. Her eye, one eye especially was bulging out. But she never lost sight or anything, but they had to, to release that pressure because most of the time when you have a brain aneurysm, you have to release the pressure in the brain. And um, it's a whole thing. Oh my gosh. We just looked everything up and it was just crazy. So anyways, um, and see me. Okay, good. So guys, thank you so much for coming out. I do have some small lots. Um, I showed it earlier. I'll show part of it again. This was, uh, I don't remember how much this one was. I think nine. And it's just a craft lot. Not damaged craft, but just a craft lot. <laughs> so it's got buttons and button covers. So it has this. Almost everything in here is new. So it's seed bead tassel. Um, what is that called when it's? on a whatever thingy so you can put it on like maybe pillows lamps lampshades um button covers vintage buttons these are cute cowboy button covers or cowboy boots <laughs> they're cute um This button cover, these little new, or they're new old stock buttons. Um, these are the stainless steel, what do they call, bole? Um, bole. I, I could tell I'm getting tired. What do they call those bole? Oh, no, that's not the word. How do you say it? Oh my gosh. You know those ties that men wear? The end pieces, and that's like how you um, tighten it. 
Then these are button covers, the steer head and the star. I just put it in there. And then these are adorable. These are tropical fish uh, button covers. <laughs> so cute. But you can use them for crafts. And then look at this one. This is new too. It's a little gingerbread woman. You could put like in a craft. I just thought like if someone does crafts, this would be cute. Oop. Oh my gosh, am I frozen? Bolo, yes, thank you. See, I am getting tired, Bolo. Amber, I was gonna ask you if you wanted to come to like this animal activist protest with me on the 10th at UC Davis. I had a scholarship there and I, I did a, I, I don't know if I told you guys, I had a scholarship, I forfeited it because they did, I saw all the animal testing they did there. So I forfeited it after the, not even the first, Quarter. And <clears throat> anyways, they're having a big animal activist uh, protest there. And it's nothing scary or anything. It's just put on by, it's not PETA, it's um someone else. Uh, blah, 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 blah. International, no, I can't remember who. But, and I thought, you know what, I don't want to be around people. <laughs> As much as I believe in like protesting for that, for the primates and everything, because I it was primates and dogs, cats, everything. I thought, no, because then I don't want to be around people, crowds. And I'd also don't want to have to use the restroom in the during the pandemic somewhere else. I'm just weird about that. But I did think about you. I'm like, I wonder if she would want to come to that. <laughs> so... Anyways, um, but yeah, I, I'm not going to do it as much as I'd love to. It's just, I don't want to take the chance. Poor babies. Um, one of my tenants, he's a police officer and he patrolled the, um, the university, like where they had the animals and like where they did some of the primate testing. And he said it was the eeriest thing walking into that building because they were so scared and you'd walk in and they were all quiet. And I just thought, God, that's so sad to me. So he goes, it was really sad. And he goes, there's a ton of them in there. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to know. I know that there is, you know, but anyways, I got the invitation through, I can't remember what society, maybe it was PETA, and I don't think it's a good idea to go right now with, I don't want to be around a crowd, but anyways, I would do it normally if, if like a friend would go with me. I don't like to go to those, they they don't get out of control or anything, it's just, you know, uh, um, showing up basically. But I don't like to go myself to them anymore, and I don't want to be in a crowd. <laughs> so, anyway. Yes, this Sunday. Yeah. I mean, if you're like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, then I would do it. I would say, okay, all right. I won't drink any fluids before we go. <laughs> but, anyways, um... Well, guys, I think I'm going to end it here because I am getting really sleepy. I can tell, like, this eye will blink before that one <laughs> and because I'm tired. I'm starting to yawn. But um, thank you guys for hanging in there with me, and I'll probably come on tomorrow. I'll have more stuff put together. I, I do have more brooches, so I have, like, a, a brooch lot, individual brooches, uh, pins, you know, like that look like brooches, but they're pins, um, more sterling, some more vintage stuff. Um, yeah, so rings, that sort of thing. So hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure what time because it'll definitely, well, I know it'll definitely be in the evening. Um, because I have to go feed the cats, but it'll be earlier in the evening. So, anyway. Uh, let's see. Good night, Lori, everyone. Have a good day. All right, thank you. Good night, everyone.
Thank you for showing up. Thank you for having a good time with me. And um, I'm going to finish my water and put everything away. And I will do my invoices tomorrow. And I'll probably come on tomorrow, early evening. I'll try to send out an email. I'll try to remember to do that. And, um, and I'll come back on. All right, guys. Thank you so much for showing up. I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys. Talk to you later. <laughs> Good night. I always forget how to get out of here. Okay. Good night. <laughs>